What's going on you guys? It's Randy with Full Throttle Obsessions. There seems to be a growing trend. It seems that more and more RVers are getting their propane tanks stolen off their RVs. In fact, just a few days ago, my girl got a notification on Ring that exact thing happened just a couple blocks away from where we're staying. So what we're gonna do today is secure our propane tanks down. So hopefully that doesn't happen to us. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna modify the wing nut so we can put a lock on it and secure both the propane tanks down. Now they do sell lock kits for your propane tanks, but the ones that we came across were pretty expensive. They're around the $90 range. But luckily I found a lock that's gonna work for this. So really this modification is gonna cost me no money. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what we're gonna do. All right, now the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna flatten out one of these edges of the wing nut. We're gonna do that by using our vise. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and bend this flat. As you can see, we flattened one of the edges of the wing nut. Now we're gonna sit on top of this. It's gonna look something like that. That way we could go ahead and put a lock through it. Now we're gonna go ahead and get a center punch and get this drilled out. Here's the lock that I'm gonna go with. Now this is extreme overkill for this setup, but this happens to be an extra shipping container lock that I purchased when I bought my shipping container. And it has been sitting in here for about a year collecting dust. So instead of me running out and buying a paddle lock with a longer loop on it, so we could go ahead and put it through the wing nut and the bar, we're just gonna go ahead and use this one. Now a regular paddle lock with a longer loop that has enough room to get along the, around the bar and the wing nut will definitely be enough for something like this. But just to save time and to put this lock to, to use so it's not just sitting here doing nothing, we're gonna go ahead and use this one. All right, now since we end up flattening out one end of that wing nut in the vise, we're gonna go ahead and drill for the lock. Now that we got it all drilled out, we'll go ahead and put the lock. Nice. Now all I gotta do, I'm gonna find a nut to go at the bottom of the threading rod, all the way at the bottom of the tanks, so there's no way they're gonna unscrew the rod. All right, we'll go ahead and show you guys how it looks here. Got both those locked down. Now at the bottom of that threaded rod, I'm either gonna find a nut with the matching threads to go, go ahead and lock it up on the bottom, or we'll go ahead and tack weld it. I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet, but for now, I think we're pretty good. But all right, you guys, that was really a quick and easy solution. Make our propane tanks a little more secure so we don't have to worry about them so much. Luckily, I already have the lock. You don't have to use the lock like that. You could use a, a paddle lock. As long as it's able to go around the bar and the wing nut, you'd be good. You could get it done in about 10 or 15 minutes. But all right, you guys, I hope you guys liked the video. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.